So here in America, there's definitely top degrees and top university choices for international students. Some of them include mechanical engineering, MBA, and universities like ASU and UC Irvine. We've got Ajay to talk about his experience doing all of those things to help you guys see if these are the right fits, right places for you. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. How's it going? I'm Rob. We love helping people in their cross-cultural journey, especially with international students, like on which degrees to study or which universities are best for the kind of programs you want. We're going to have an amazing conversation with our friend Ajay today. He's got a ton of great experience. He's going to really help you out. So Ajay, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, Rob, and hi, everyone. Um, myself, Ajay Panwar. I work for Medtronic as a senior engineering manager. I have done my master's in mechanical engineering from ASU and then also MBA from UC Irvine. Amazing. So yeah, I'm rocking the Arizona State shirt. My parents graduated from there. My grandfather was a professor. So definitely some Sun Devil pride running in our family. And then you see Irvine. Uh, Ajay, what's their mascot? Anteater. Yeah, very ferocious. <laughs> it is. It is. So let's first talk about kind of your admissions process. Kind of what was your profile when you were looking to begin to study abroad? So building a great profile for any good university is important. So let me tell you what really uh, mattered and what helped me. The number one is strong recommendation letter from the right people, like executives. So if you have working experience, then uh, the executives of that company. If you don't, you are academic, then um, head of your department or principal. And then working on your statement of purpose, that is also very important. I think the key over here is to pay close attention that what is really going inside in those letters and also your statement of purpose. Things like what research you have done, what achievement you want others to know. The important aspect here is that you want to articulate your experience very clearly so the person who is reading it, they understand, they know what you have done as part of your career and why do you want to join that university as part of your graduate program. Let me give you another bonus. I have seen that a lot of people struggle with the scores like GRE, TOEFL or IELTS. Above average scores is always good, but that's not the only thing that you should focus on. The good thing here is that the big picture matters more than the score. So don't worry about if you have low score, focus on your full profile and then go strong in it. And what did your profile look like when you were applying? Yeah, so I focused on SOP. So I spent a good amount of time really refining into what do I really want to do? My SOP was just uh, one page long and it was straight to the point is what exactly what I want to do with my career and what, like where do I want to go from there. Um, and then with the scores, uh, my scores were just literally right above average. So I was thinking that I might not going to get into Arizona State University, mm -hmm. uh, that I was literally at average. But then I realized after applying, after talking to the professor is that, hey, scores is just the number, right? They look for your academic background. They look for what are you going to bring to the university and how are you going to really take that name to your career forever? Definitely. Now, Ajay, tell us why you chose Arizona State University, especially for mechanical engineering. So one of the good thing about ASU is um, they really have good professors. As you mentioned, Rob, um, I mean, your your grandfather was a um, professor there, right? So you probably have some attachment to ASU. Uh, Arizona State University has really, really good professor. I did good about good search about them. Um, um, I looked about their profile, what work they have done. Um, and I wanted to particularly go into material science as part of mechanical engineering. And they really had good research going on. So that gives me an opportunity for the research opportunities over there. And because they have good professor, there are opportunities. It means funding is also available, right? Funding matters because, again, you do want to get the TA or RA or GA jobs as part of your curriculum, right? That will help you help with your uh, expenses. Another thing would be is that there are wide varieties of courses available as part of ASU. That lets you choose which specific area you want to focus on. And then, of course, ASU do have a good ranking. So that's a bonus on top of it. And you know what the tuition fees at ASU are now these days? Yeah, so I did uh, my MS in 2013. So 
it's been a while but i looked it up we need 30 credit to do the graduate program and per credit fee is 1400 us dollar which cost about 42000 for the entire program and now tell us a little bit about the course curriculum what's the course curriculum like for ms mechanical engineering and the job scope and potentials for that career in industry so in terms of course curriculum um, i think i mentioned briefly right there are there are wide varieties of options available you can choose um, which area you really want to specialize into after getting into mechanical engineering, I learned I wanted to specialize into material science. Um, so I ended up talking to the professor and then I ended up doing the research in that area for about one year. And then in terms of jobs, I, I did end up getting research assistant job and also on campus jobs. So those are also helpful that will help you with your expenses management, right? So you don't have to look for the job outside. Another important thing before I jump onto the job scope is the startup opportunities. ASU mm -hmm. is a big hub for startup. They do provide a lot of resources. If you have a great idea or if you are working with the team to really go into those ventures and help them out, right? So that is a great experience that people look for. Um, and that actually motivates you that, hey, you are working on something new or maybe a breakthrough technology as part of your curriculum. In terms of job scope, Phoenix is a pretty hot area. I think there are big companies over there. Um, such hot, as literally Intel. and figuratively. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and I mean, in terms of companies, the big companies out there are Intel, um, NXP Semiconductors, Amazon has an office there, um, and also PayPal. And including my company too, Medtronic has a pretty big office there. We have about seven, eight building. So that is a pretty big, huge office there. So mm. that, that gives you a lot of exposure to just local market, right? So you don't even have to go outside to apply. And if you are local, you do get the priority, right? So you do not have to get relocation and all that. So that is that makes it even more attractive. Awesome. That's great to hear. And if you guys are interested in more about ASU, I've made some videos with some other students as well. So you guys can check those out to learn more about the campus opportunities there at Arizona State. That's in Tempe, Arizona. This video is brought to you by the Career Success Journey, Chai and Coaching's new online course. This course is geared towards teaching you everything you need to know to land a desired job here in America. International students face many extra obstacles in their job search. We're going to address those issues and empower you with the knowledge and skills needed to overcome job search challenges. Learn about LinkedIn, networking, the US job market, interview prep, and much more. We've seen the results of students getting amazing jobs, even impossible dream jobs, which shows this content really works. Join our live eight week spring 2022 cohort starting on February 6th. For more information and registration, go to careersuccessjourney.chiangcoaching.com. Don't forget to invite your friends too. Cheers. Now I'm excited to talk about UC Irvine. This is the first interview we've done about this college in California. But now Ajay, tell us why you chose UC Irvine, especially for your MBA. The main thing about MBA is networking and the ecosystem you want to be part of, right? So I live in Irvine, so that makes it even more approachable for me. Um, and where is the, Irvine roughly, you know, for people who aren't familiar with that? Um, Irvine is in Southern California. So even more precise is in Orange County, which is south mm -hmm. of Los Angeles. Is about so it's like uh, 40. a suburb of LA, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, about 40 minute drive uh, from LA. I mean, if there is a traffic, you know, California, if there is a traffic, it could take about two hours too. Mm -hmm. um, so it is part of Southern California. It's in Orange County. Great weather, great location, great opportunities out here. So in terms of MBA, the, the two things that are really important, uh, were really important to me at that point in time was flexibility um, mm. and the support that we are going to get from the MBA program. Um, UC Irvine um, had a really, really good flexible programs for MBA. They have fully employed MBA and also the executive MBA. You can tailor the program to your availability. You do not have to just uh, stick to the MBA and then get it done right. You can learn as with your pace, how busy you are with work, right? So you can adjust your schedule accordingly. And there is a great support structure available for, for students who want to do the program. I could have gone to the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and also uh, University of Southern California. Those two are great school. I mean, I was even discussing with them, so I could have gone there. But then again, we have to think about 
what network system or what ecosystem you want to be part of. Southern California is actually a booming industry over here, right? There are a lot of companies out there. Do you want to be in touch with the executives in this area or you want to be away from this area and then do it from some, some other location? So that mm-hmm. was a really important aspect for me to that make that decision. And in your own personal journey, what made you want to go from a, an MS in engineering and then add an MBA on top of that? You know, anything that was a decision factor for you? Honestly, I never really thought about doing an MBA. I was recommended by my company, uh, by my uh, mentor to go for it. And the reason being is that I had that passion in me to go for, to drive a business. Like, hey, how can we increase the productivity in a company? How can Mm -hmm. we increase the revenue of the company? And when the company actually saw that I'm thinking about those important part of the business, they said that, hey, why don't you go um, and then do the MBA? And then I'm like, hey, I mean, MBA is expensive, right? I mean, I don't want to put my step into it, right? I mean, it's going to cost me my leg and arm, right? So why should I consider it. But then I again started thinking about it and then learn more about the program, learn about what are the opportunities available. And that made me decision that, hey, I think the MBA is really the next step that will help you not only learning new skills, but also with your career progression. If you're getting value and learning a lot from Ajay, go ahead and give a like and thumbs up on this video to say thanks. Our chai question for this video is which colleges and degrees are you guys applying to right now? Go ahead and tell us in the comments. Love to hear which universities. You know, Ajay, he went to ASU, UC Irvine, did mechanical engineering and MBA. We'd love to hear which university and degrees you guys are thinking about. Again, tell us in the comments. So what is the tuition cost of an MBA, especially at a, a UC school? At UC schools, um, it, it varies quite a bit. So let's focus on the Irvine. For the entire program, the current cost is 110000 US dollar. That's about two-year program or three-year mm-hmm. program, depending on how you manage it. But that's the overall cost. Once you are accepted into, into the program, your tuition fees is logged. It's not going to change for the rest of your program. Now, tell us more about the course curriculum and even kind of a job scope um, coming out of an MBA. Sure. So in terms of course curriculum, one thing that I absolutely loved about UCR Wine is their digitization specialization. So they have multiple specialization. Uh, one is digitization, uh, other is healthcare, real estate. So digitization is basically into marketing, right? So everything from marketing perspective is changing into digital world. So mm-hmm. they are heavily focused into it. I don't believe I have seen any other UC university who are really, really into it and then really paying a lot of attention into that area. So that was very helpful. I ended up taking quite a bit of courses from there. So that helped me. Another thing is in terms of job scope is how to really find the job scope. The MBA program at UC Irvine actually have a specialized career section where they are actually helping you with your career building like refining your resumes according Mm. to management jobs because if you are coming from a different background your resume will look completely different so they will help you how to be really focused on to management keywords that should go into your resume the things that you have done right and they will set you for success another important thing is executive coaching so uci basically puts you based on your interest based on your skills they will put you in touch with the executives of companies, either they are current executives or retired people as a coaching or as a mentoring opportunity. So you Mm. are going to be learning from their opportunities that, hey, I mean, what kind of things that they have done, right? Asking them questions, how to become an executive in the company. So talking to a CEO of company, I mean, that is really, really amazing, right? I mean, I don't think so you will get that kind of experience even in your current company, right? Those people are busy. So you are getting that experience as part of your program, which is absolutely amazing. And then another thing is like MBA is all about networking, right? So Mm -hmm. uh, you are networking with the right people, networking with the executives. Maybe you will end up with with other people on the same board, right? In their company, right? Who knows? So those things are very important. Um, as part of MB and then UCR Wining is actually providing you those opportunities. That's awesome. That's very cool. Along with those fees for an MBA, do they also offer scholarships? 
Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, right? So scholarship is important, right? When you are actually paying that hefty amount of money. So UC Irvine does provide uh, up to 30,000 um, scholarship for your program. So that helps you with the entire tuition. I mean, it's based on your experience and it's based on uh, what you bring to the table. So it's up to the 30,000. It could be anywhere in between. Um, so again, work on your profile. Uh, make sure you you represent it like clearly your achievement so you get the message across and you get the highest scholarship possible. Aj, another fun thing we want to hear about is just what's the student life like at ASU and UC Irvine? You know, what was the campus life? Any fun highlights you had, you know, outside the classroom here in America? That's a, that's an amazing question and a, and a great one too. Um, ASU is a party school, right? Arizona State University is famous for party school. There are lots of events happening um, either at Mill Avenue or on campus or at housing. So you are not going to miss out any of that, right? I mean, there are there are events where you should get involved with the people, right? Go out and have fun. Mill Avenue is the downtown um, of Tempe. It's a great area, great happening place. You can go out in the evening and then have fun with your friends. About UCR Wine, I think I mentioned about networking, right? Networking is important. So we go out for happy hour after class and schools and then have informal chat. And I'll tell you, don't miss those, right? Even you are mm -hmm. not joining UCR Wine or any other MBA school, these events happen there. So the real connections are actually built outside of class and outside of school. So definitely don't miss those. Again, you never know where you will end up, right? So those are important mm -hmm. part of your career. I totally agree. The best things you're going to do for your job search are outside the classroom, outside the campus. That's where the real networking happens. That's where the opportunities come from. So yeah, follow that advice from Ajay. Get outside the classroom, go meet people have fun with other professionals and students. And that's where the jobs really come from here in America. We've made it actually another really fun video with Ajay um, talking about the medical device industry um, and even some job search tips. So we're gonna have a link for that. Um, be sure to check that out. If you're interested in medical devices or just some job search tips, we've made another awesome video with him. Ajay, this has been amazing. I've learned some really fun new stuff. I know the viewers definitely have as well. So thanks so much. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for your time. Yeah, it's been fun connecting. I love learning about different universities and degrees from all over the country. And my friends, we want to connect with you guys. So be sure to be connected with us online on social media, like on Instagram. Uh, be sure you're subscribed to the Chai Coaching newsletter for really fun uh, updates, tips, and events and things like that you don't want to miss out on. And we really appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you guys next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers.